On July 31, 2023, Beijing was hit by heavy rainfall for the third consecutive day, causing major damage. The torrential downpour transformed roads into rivers, sweeping away cars and disrupting daily life. The inclement weather prompted authorities to issue the highest alert for flooding and led to the cancellation of dozens of flights, severely affecting transportation services. The impact of the heavy rainfall has been felt across all sectors of the city. Beijing's western suburbs, videos showed half-submerged vehicles in the Mintaugu district being dragged along by fast-moving torrents. The remnants of Typhoon Duxuri were responsible for the record-breaking rainfall that has inundated the city, home to nearly 22 million people. The average rainfall in Beijing reached a staggering 176.9 mm between Saturday night and Monday afternoon, with the Mintaugu district witnessing the highest recorded rainfall of 580.9 mm at one of its weather stations. Such extraordinary precipitation has left hundreds of roads flooded, making transportation nearly impossible and paralyzing the city. As the floodwaters receded in the Mintaugu district, the aftermath revealed a trail of destruction. Snapped tree branches and damaged cars were left behind, and riverbanks were swamped with debris. By Monday afternoon, Authorities had evacuated 5,000 people from Mintaugu district to safer locations. However, the challenges posed by the floods extended beyond roadways. Subway stations were also engulfed by the rising waters, compounding the transportation woes of the city's residents. To the south of Beijing, a railway bridge was washed away, adding to the damages caused by the torrential rain. The Fengxian district also was severely affected by the relentless rainfall. As river levels continued to rise, authorities dispatched 2,000 police personnel to construct essential dams and curb the flooding. Residents in nearby townships were issued warnings to pay attention to evacuation orders, as authorities took urgent measures to ensure their safety. The High River Basin, a vital water system for the region, faced its own set of challenges, as three of its five rivers rose to warning levels on Monday. The disastrous floods led to some houses being washed away into the Yangding River, necessitating the evacuation of nearly 55,000 people from their homes in Badding City, as reported by state media.
The Beijing Hydrology Station upgraded its flood warning, as more rain and potential river flooding were forecasted, urging residents to remain vigilant and take all necessary precautions. The relentless downpour over the weekend resulted in daily precipitation records being shattered at 14 weather stations not only in Beijing, but also in neighboring provinces, such as Hebei, Shanxi, and Shandong. The scale of the event led to the evacuation of more than 31,000 people from their homes in Beijing. As a precautionary measure, work at over 4,000 construction sites was halted to ensure the safety of workers amidst the adverse weather conditions. Nearly 20,000 buildings were inspected for damages caused by the flooding, and scenic spots across the city were closed to protect visitors from potential hazards. Emergency response teams and disaster relief agencies are working tirelessly to manage the crisis and provide much-needed aid to affected communities. With the situation remaining critical, authorities are calling upon residents to stay informed about weather updates, follow evacuation orders diligently, and exercise extreme caution. The devastating impact has left the capital and its neighboring provinces in a state of emergency. The government is actively coordinating relief efforts, mobilizing resources, and offering support to those affected by the floods. The international community has also extended its solidarity and support to help alleviate the trouble caused by this unprecedented wild weather.